Hi, and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today, we are working on part two of our Christmas thrifted gift ideas, but they don't have to be used for just Christmas. So a lot of you in part one said you really, really wanted to see a part two. So let's get started. A lot of times at thrift stores, you can find really cute containers, baskets, kind of like I showed you in the last video. Um, a lot of times they have a huge section for art supplies and um, organization and stuff. So I picked this one up. Also, if you do some digging, um, I know my Goodwill um, up the street has tons of art supplies and a lot of times they're new, like these. Um, these are canvases, still wrapped. I mean, you know, they got a hole, but perfectly great for gifts and so much cheaper than if you bought them new at like an art supply store. So this would be a cute gift with this. And let's fill it up with some goodies. A lot of times at like um, Michaels or Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby, you can find these acrylic paints for super cheap. So, you know, buy a bunch of those in your person's favorite color or colors. <laughs> This is a sponge thing I already had. That's why it's dirty. <laughs> um, but if you can find cool, like little unique, fun art supplies like that, that maybe the person doesn't have, that would be fun. Also paint brushes, obviously not used, but that's what I had. So <laughs> um, I didn't want to get any more because I have a ton of them. And since you're giving canvases, maybe fill it up with some watercolor paints or you know whatever your person that you're buying for likes to use or maybe hasn't used and would like to try or maybe fill this up with like clay or you know any kind of art supplies would be fun but you could end up giving like a really cool gift for not a lot of money when you find like like the canvases and the little cute little container at a thrift store you've saved a lot of money and put a lot of thought and time into it and then you could always just wrap this up super cute or just buy um, like a cute little ribbon or bows and put on there. So many cute ideas. All right, and here's another thing. This is actually, you know, it can hang on the wall. But something like this, you could, if you really know the person that you're giving your gift to, you could paint it to match their style. You could leave it plain so that they can change it up however they want, which is also a fun idea. And these, if you really look, you can find some really, really cute containers. So if you're buying for somebody that really likes games or puzzles, definitely keep your eye out at the thrift store. A lot of times you can find new unopened, you know, puzzles and stuff like that. Puzzles are a big thing that I see at thrift stores that aren't open. You know, they have like little kid games or puzzles. I guess that's not really a little kid one, but um, stuff like this. Obviously, this little setup here isn't going to be for the same person with Star Wars and Mickey Mouse Club, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, there's always stuff like this that, you know, like Target and stuff will send over stuff that just didn't sell. So why not give those as gifts? Stuff like this. We always remember these things. These Etch-a-Sketch. I always loved them as a kid. And fun little stuff like this. Or like travel stuff. If your person travels or, you know, they're planning on going on a vacation, this would be a great idea. Or if they're little and love Play-Doh, you know, anything. You could just fill it with whatever theme your person is into. Um, wrap it up super cute. There's so many ways to save money but still give really um, sweet and, you know, meaningful gifts. You can always top it off like I did in my last video with a little Christmas tree if you're giving it for Christmas. Okay, so this one I had to do on the floor because this is quite large. I don't know if you can tell. Another great basket from the thrift store. This one I would love to get as a gift, but <laughs> um, 
So this is for like say your cooking friend or mom that you don't know what to get for or aunt or grandma or dad or grandpa, whatever, husband. But my first thought would be an apron and maybe stick like a little fun family recipe in there as like a little hidden gift. Maybe add a little DIY gift. I don't know if you remember I made this last year. I'll link that video if you want to see. Then maybe some books. Thrift store has tons and tons of good books and cookbooks. This one's actually from the dollar store. So if you can't find any at the thrift store, go to the dollar store. And then you can always add a rolling pin. New, obviously, if the person's going to use it. Old and antiqued from the thrift store or antique store if your person collects antiques or just fun stuff like that. Maybe some fresh ingredients. This is from Costco. <laughs> Whatever their favorite, you know, ingredients to use are or if you did slip a little recipe in your apron, maybe put the ingredients to that in here. Maybe a little fun candle. This one is Homemade gingerbread. These are my favorite candles. You guys know that. <laughs> Maybe a fun little towel. I think this was from Target last year. But still very cheap. I think it came in a two pack. And it was like $3 or something. So you could split it up and give one to one person and one to another. Stick that in there. And then maybe just a little decoration for the kitchen or something. And here's another one from Goodwill. Mine had a ton of them, but they were originally from Target. Still with the sticker on. This would be perfect for books. It could be something like coloring books for a little one. Or somebody a little older that likes to color. <laughs> Again, they always have this kind of stuff new at the thrift stores. Um, you know, just stuff that people didn't use and they donated. Pencils. This I got from the Dollar Tree, but, you know, little calendars. Pencils are super inexpensive to get. I've never really seen, like, full packs of unused pencils, but I have seen tons of boxes of crayons and stuff. Um, you know, fun books that look brand new. You can't tell that they were ever used half the time. They weren't. Could throw that in here. If it's for Christmas, throw in a little Christmas tree. Always, always super cute. Maybe with some ornaments, little ornaments from the dollar store or something. Um, so that they can decorate it. Anything fun like that. And then wrap it in a cute little bow or with cellophane around it. All right, and now comes one for the guys. If you can find a little container that isn't too girly at the thrift store that can hold a bunch of stuff. They're a little bit harder to buy stuff from the thrift store. I don't see a ton of guy stuff. Occasionally they'll have tools and stuff, but um, maybe stuff like this. If they're into like darts and stuff, obviously you'd want to pack them safely because they're quite sharp. But I've seen dart boards at thrift stores um, but you can always fill a container like that with you know just some stuff that they might use for like you know their hair or their beard or cologne this is my son's favorite by the way if you're looking for a cologne for a teenager he's 17 and it does smell really really good <laughs> maybe something like this 
or like a um, aftershave or something like that. Maybe some more hair goop or like razors or anything that the guy you're buying for would need for like, um, you know, just to spruce up their looks or something. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys liked the thrifted gift ideas in this video. And if you have any new ideas or video ideas that you would like to see on my channel, then please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join our YouTube family. Don't forget if you got some good ideas from this video to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for your love and support and I'll see you next time. Bye.